What's your opinion on ghosting? I'm pro ghost. Do the ghost. I don't need a paragraph about why you don't like me after one date. Just pretend you didn't see the last message. I swear to God, I hate that we've normalized. You have to explain to me what you don't like about me. It's not normal. Just rip apart my entire existence. I just wanted to get a taco, okay? If it's been less than like two, three dates, that is so insulting to know that he didn't like you after so little time. I think it's fine if it's like not a long time. Do you know what I mean? Because if someone goes to you, you're like, okay, they're not worth it. If you ghost someone after like a year or you ghost your kid, that's pretty shit. People are out here complaining, oh, he ghosted me after two dates. It's like some people's fathers just left and never <laughs> called them again. Calm down. Not even a happy birthday card. Also, people only like the guy after they ghost. It's like a, you have an attachment issue. You were like, oh, the date was fine. And then he hasn't called you for a week. And you're like, he's the love of my life. Okay, get, go to therapy. I'll do it all the time, right? Because I don't like confrontation. But don't do it to me. That's rude. I, it happened to me one time and I thought he actually died. I was like, he must be dead because why would you ghost me? Like, you're boring. I was the, I was the personality. I reactivated my Facebook page to see if this man was alive. I was like, oh, maybe he'll be posting like sad things about him. And I was so upset that he wasn't dead. You posted, you're like, rest yeah, in I'm peace. Yeah, like, he must be dead. He used to ride bikes. And I remember I got like, a, like a citizen notification that someone died on a bike. And I was like, oh, clearly <laughs> it's him. I can't, it's not Oscar, it's this guy, he's dead. Girl said earlier in the show, she makes over a million dollars a year. As a woman who makes seven figures, like my money does not retain my relationship. Like Watch what she does when Steve Will Do It comes in. That's the question. Uh, no, man. <laughs> You make over a million a year? There's no bigger turnoff than feeling expected to have sex with someone. So even if you do feel like, okay, yes, in a relationship, there should be a healthy amount of sex, do not ever come across to your woman like you're expecting it from them because they're immediately gonna be turned off. It almost would be better to trick yourself into thinking you're not expecting it or you don't care. And immediately if a woman thinks you don't care if you have sex with them or not, they're gonna be more turned off. The NBA player, when he slid in your DMs, what did he put? This is fantastic. Oh, just a period. But I I feel like everyone already knows Stop. about that. Really? Yeah. Have you ever heard of that? I That's mean, like but... ultimate fuckboy behavior. Yeah, but I imagine he probably sends that to like every like right. Instagram model he likes and yeah. he sees who answers. Rachel's confidence on getting a guy's number. A 10. A 9. So y'all want to test that out? Yeah, we can test it out. No, she can. I'm good. Oh, come on, what's up? Wait, so you said you had no girlfriend? Yeah, no girlfriend. So I was wondering if I can get your number? Get my number? That's crazy. Look. Respectfully, I'm going to decline that. <laughs> a good man savannah a good man so i only date guys that give me level 10 effort and i'm going to tell you exactly how that looks based on a guy that i've recently started dating one when we were messaging on dating apps he was giving me long extensive answers he was really engaged asking me questions keeping the conversation going being very consistent that's level 10. within just a few days he asked for my phone number planned a date on his own and drove out to my city to come meet me he then paid for our brunch, and then he also knew how bad I wanted dark chocolate covered strawberries and that I was gonna go take myself to get some. So he came with me and he insisted on paying and bought me some and sat there with me and asked me very deep questions about all things life. And it, that to me, that's level 10. For the second date, he offered to come pick me up even though it was super out of his way and he'd be doing a lot of doubling back, but he came to pick me up, that's level 10. Then he also had a big bouquet of flowers right there that he stopped at the store to get on his way there, that's level 10. He bought us tickets to a comedy show because he knew I enjoyed comedy, that's level 10. I told him how cool the sushi spot sounded that he described to me, so he wanted to take me to that spot, that is level 10. That sushi spot was also really overpacked, so he kindly was like, let's just go to a different location. Went to another one, was not in a bad mood when they were overly packed. He's like, but we're still going to get sushi. Drove to another one, didn't care. By our third spot, we got dinner. To me, that's still level 10. When we sat down at the restaurant, he immediately said, I'm going to sit next to you. We're going to share a booth together. I want to sit close to you. It's easier. That's level 10. He asked a million amazing questions, paid attention to every detail, remembered things that I told him from the first date and in between texting, checked in a lot of things. That's level 10. He paid for dinner. That's level 10. He opens up my car doors. That's level 10. He made sure that I never stood on the outside of the street, always moved over so he was on the outside. That's level 10. He always asks me what I want to do, what would make me happy, what would make me feel good. That's level 10. He never judges a single thing that I say, never criticizes me, never says anything negative. He's always curious, always engaged, and always happy to get to know me. That's level 10. By the end of the second date, he told me how much he liked me and how he could see things working out really well with me and immediately asked me when he could see me again. He planned it right away. 
And even though I only had one day left in the week that I was able to see him and it was just two days away, he moved things around to make sure that he could see me because he made it very clear. He said, I wanna see you before you go out of town, so I'm gonna make Sunday work. That's level 10. Then he drove all the way out to me again and went to the exact restaurant that I wanted to because he knew it would make me happy. That's level 10. I could go on and on and on and on and on. He has done everything level 10. He's always consistent in his texting. He never gets upset if I take very long to reply. He's never acting weird or jealous. He's just very honest, very open, very attentive, and very kind. That to me is level 10 and those are the only kind of men that I will date. And there's a time when we were texting, I was talking about this concert that I was planning on buying tickets for, but I was waiting for the price to go down. He immediately bought the tickets, sent me a screenshot and said, we're going to this concert. That's level 10.